guys so this week has been an adventure um as you can see new scenery because these are these old funky flower couches i normally sit on and that tan wall is gone that is the blue we went with um it's kind of like a baby blue kind of like my shirt but that's not why that's not the only reason i'm here so yesterday i posted a video about saving a turtle well, today we saved something else. I don't have video of it because I was kind of freaking out and uh, I had to help kind of scare it out. So let me start from the beginning with this section and then I'll tell you what we rescued. So the other night I was in here because this is where the computer's at to upload my videos. So I was in here doing that and I stepped outside to walk back to the house. Well, while I was outside, um, in the front side portion of the yard area by the fence, we have like a drain that the people who lived here, they put in because the property next to us is actually elevated, like it's lifted. So all their rainwater would flood the cement. So by the drain, I'm looking that way. All of a sudden I see something run and all I can see is gray fur and a tail. So I am freaking out like you guys don't even know like um, I was about to start shrieking like it was so bad I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god what is that is that a rat because we do live next to a lot of bamboo that the neighbors have for privacy well things go in there there's been alligators come out we've seen snakes come out we've seen rats come out an owl a falcon like all of these different animals like we have the whole discovery channel right here all nature stuff so I'm freaking out thinking it's a rat. Well, it turns around and I see its face and it's a baby possum. Like y'all, it's like this big. Nothing to really be scared of, but when you're not expecting that and you think it's a freaking rat, because I am frightened to death. Like, dude, mm -mm, snakes, rats, I'm good. Nope, bye. Anyway, so that was that day. I want to say that might have been three days ago, four days ago, something like that. Well, two nights ago, me and the hubby were watching TV. Abby was in bed. I want to say it was like Thursday night. And I hear something. And I'm like, dude, something. I hear something in the house. And he's like, ah, oh, you're losing your mind. There's nothing. And I, like, I heard it a few more times. And I'm like, dude, there's something in the house. So we paused the TV because we were watching Netflix. We just paused it. And... We listen, and he's like, uh, I don't hear anything. And I'm like, I'm telling you, there's something in the house. So, I get up, and he follows me. We go look in the dining room. We look in the front part of the living room. We look in the kitchen and in the back room where uh, the washing machine and all that stuff's at. And I'm like, I'm telling you, there's something here. It almost sounded like something was in the dog bowl, and you can hear the cling, cling, because it's like a stainless steel one. Well, he didn't believe me, and we went back to watching TV. Well, let's fast forward to today, about 30 minutes ago. Abby and I are in the living room. She's not feeling well again, so she's, like, already in wham mode. But you know how they are when they don't feel good. So she's kind of babyish today, whatever. All of a sudden, I see something run across my living room. And it's, it's a nice-sized living room, like... You could probably put three couches against one wall, like a, the length width-wise or length-wise, whatever. Three couches this way, two couches the opposite way, end to end. But anyway, so I see something run, and I hurry and I look. It's the freaking baby possum. He's in. He was in my house. Like I told my husband, I heard something. It was the possum. He was in there, probably eating dog food or something. And he didn't believe me. So, all of a sudden, I make a noise. Abby sees it, starts screaming. And I'm like, okay, your daddy's not in the house. Uh, I don't know what to do. So, I came. He was working. So, I came in. And I'm like, hey, look. Anyway, like, I need you for a second. He's like, well, what's up? I'm like, I don't want to say it out loud. Because, you know, he had people with him. And uh, I said, whenever you get a second, come see. Well, he was done. So, he walked outside. And uh, I told him, I'm like, we got a we got a situation. 
So he comes in the house and he's like, what? I'm like, there is a possum. The same baby possum that was outside and freaked me out and the one that I told you was, I heard a noise, that was, it's behind the TV. And we have like a TV stand, the bottom of it's like triangular shaped and then it's on the, you know, the big stand. So I told him, I said, it's behind there. And also with that, you can go underneath it. So like if, cause I've seen like a ball, like a, one of those little bouncy balls, you throw it, it goes clean across, but it looks like it wouldn't, but it does. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what to do. He said, well, we need to scare it out, move the dog. So I gave the dog like a piece of jerky, the one from the Dollar Tree, so that she was occupied for a while. And she, she stayed over there. So he started moving the TV, sliding it out, and it was in the wires. Like it wasn't caught or anything, but it was just sitting on all the TV wires. And like the Xbox and all that stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna bite a wire and then I'm gonna have to buy electronics. So he's like trying to get it to come out. It won't come out. He puts on some rubber gloves and he grabs an oven mitt. One of the Dollar Tree ones, not my Mickey's. And he's like, I'm gonna grab it and put it outside. At first we were gonna scare it because we had the front door open. We we're gonna scare it out the door. But he's like, it's not moving, it's playing possum. So I start banging a basket. I had like a clothes basket with some odd and ends from Abby from the living room or whatever she needed to pick up. So I started using that and started tapping the wall and it started going towards him. And then it finally just stopped and he was able to bend down and pick it up. And he put it outside and he was petting it. I'm like, it's a possum, dude. He's like, yeah, but they're, they're gentle creatures. You know, some of them have rabies. Am I right? I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that was today's adventure. We rescued a possum out of my living room. I don't even know, want to know what's my next rescue. Like I don't, I'm scared to ask what next. Have you ever had? a weird outdoor creature in your house whether it be a possum a raccoon a rat that you like had to shoo it out or kill it or something like who gets a possum in their house it came through the doggy door like what the heck i don't i don't even know i don't even know so yeah that was tonight's experience but while i'm in here i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of what we did um I don't have any before footage because it was just disgusting and I wanted it done with all the rain coming through the wall and such. So, obviously, I'm not going to flip you around or anything because I'm just going to do one upload. So, we're going to do it this way. That was the old couches. Now, they have these nice gray covers on them. Like I said, we painted the walls this blue color and it's so close to my shirt. Um, these cabinets right here were already painted black. Those are the other ones. I have to do the doors because the person who did all this, she didn't paint all the doors. So I need to paint the doors and hang them here. And then this whole unit, I need to paint black, take the doors off type thing. Um, this was, this is under the stairwell. So we have a, it was a tan curtain, but now we have a black one. So it kind of goes with everything. And then we have the big couch in the gray my mother-in-law actually she made that curtain i just showed y'all um she made this one out of uh twin bed sheets or, or full size then we have these curtains that are on this closet currently we have our painting supplies in there this curtain however is still khaki and let me tell you why i do have the black one that goes here it's actually on top of the paper towels over there this bracket i don't know if you can see like right here that holds it into the wall it has to go through the hole of the sheet or the curtain. Well, we didn't realize that. We thought the bracket came off. So now she has to, um, I have to get like a shower rod, like the uh, extendable ones. And it'll be fine. I can put that up and I can finish the decor. And then the bathroom. It's still not 100%. Um, also, we do have some residue on the floor behind me here. You kind of see it in front of the couch. Because they had these black floor tiles down, she actually, the girl who lived in here actually um, used glue and glued it on top of these. And it just looked really bad because it literally stopped three rows in front of the couch and the rest of the floor is the tan color. So we wanted to get that out there and they do still have some patchwork that I need to do here and there. But it was a rush job, we had to get it done and we got most of it done. So also this, see that right there that's a part of the ceiling that kind of 
it didn't fall but it did rain through it when the le the roof started leaking so they had to do that they still have to float it and everything so for now i just painted it white in the bathroom um the walls were purple and they had a very ugly wallpaper up there we got all that down i painted them blue for now i did not do the ceiling in here because they are not done um see over at the tub it's still open because we had the upstairs toilet had every time you used it apparently we didn't know this at the time um there was like a slow leak and now whenever you flush it it'll leak until you know it'll probably leak for like two hours like a very slow like super slow so they left that open we shut the toilet off because like i said my brother-in-law does not live up there anymore so we're letting all that dry out they have to change a couple of those beams and uh, then they'll be able to put the rest of the sheetrock up then they can float it and then i because they did put this piece up and then we have to hang the light fixture back there so then once they float everything i can come back in here and put that white ceiling and it's just going to make it much brighter in the bathroom and plus with the addition to the light that is missing and the only other thing that still has to be fixed is behind the sink one of the let's see which one is it uh hot water for some reason even if you're not using it it still has a slight drip so i couldn't paint completely because it was dripping making my paint drip so that's what we did doesn't seem like a whole lot but for two people we busted this out in two days the first day we worked from um like 9 40 until after 10 o'clock at night uh and the second day we basically did the entire bathroom and clean like actual the actual cleaning like clean the floors mopped them really good um freshened up the kitchen area which there's no like stove or anything it's just an ice box because it's one like a you use like a burner that's what the people who lived here before us did uh so yeah that's that and the only room i'm not going to show you is this one this one i have not touched yet this is my stockpile room i have a lot of stuff that i have to throw away i just i wasn't able to get in there just yet so hopefully this week um i am able to and then when i'm done i can just show you guys but this is the rest of it it's just a little hallway and there's a light up there and these fire alarm smoke alarm so yeah that's everything we did for now we still have some work to come back in and do and then also on these walls there will be actual artwork that my husband has done that will line these walls and they'll be framed in a black frame and kind of tie in the whole black blue and white theme so that's all i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed the mini tour in the crazy story because i swear my life is just it's, it's crazy right now i don't want to have to rescue anything else and i just feel like it's gonna get scarier as i go like a little innocent turtle and then now a freaking possum which they're not bad um but it's not something you want in your house because if my dog would have got a hold to it like it, it would have been a mess but my dog don't really do that type of stuff she'll she'll go after a bird or a squirrel but that's about it so i will let you guys go with that i hope you enjoyed my insane story give me a big thumbs up if you did and i will see you guys next time